in this problem f of x is equal to x cubed minus 2x, if g of x is equal to the inverse of function f, and g of 4 is equal to 2, what is g primed of 4? Okay, g of 4 is equal to 2, we're told that, so that means that f of 2 has to equal 4. Those are inverse functions, so we can just interchange the x and y values. Now we also know something about the slopes of inverse functions. g primed of 4 will have to equal the reciprocal of f primed of 2. So if we can find f primed of 2, the slope of f at x equals 2, then the reciprocal of that will be the answer. g primed of 4 is what we are looking for. So let's find f prime of x. That will be easy. Just take the derivative of function f and that's 3x squared minus 2 and so then compute f prime of 2 that's 3 times 2 squared minus 2 which is 3 times 4 is 12 minus 2 is 10 so g prime of 4 which is what we're looking for is simply the reciprocal of that 1 tenth now in this problem this step might be the tricky step and I think a picture might make that clear so let's draw some x and y axes and these are this is a cubic function so I don't know maybe it looks something like this and the inverse of that function will be a reflection across the line y equals x and that's true in general a function and its inverse are reflected across the line y equals x so maybe something like this. If this is function f, this is function g, and any point on function f will have a corresponding point on function g. So if this point up here is the point 2 comma 4, then this point here is the point 4 comma 2. And that's what we did in this step. If g of 4 is equal to 2, then f of 2 is equal to 4. And you can see that on those points. What you can also see here is that if the graph of function f is really steep at this point then it will be really shallow at the corresponding point on function g and in fact those slopes are reciprocals and that is true in general if there's a certain steepness on one function then at the corresponding point which is a reflection across this line at the corresponding point on the other function the inverse of it the the slope of the graph will be the reciprocal so if the slope of f at one point is 10, the slope of g at the corresponding point is 1 tenth.